Hey everybody, my name is Andre Piripolitsa and I'm a real estate agent serving Sacramento, California area. I have been a real estate agent since 1998, so I have been selling homes for over 21 years. Now today I want to talk about a very hot topic called identity theft. And the reason why I want to talk about it is because the electronic uh, crimes are on the rise. Uh, especially uh, in the last five years because of a technology, because of a smartphones, it is very easy to send funds electronically to anybody. And so many people are using um, iPhone uh, cash app or they're using Venmo or they're using PayPal uh, to send the money. And if you log into your bank account, most likely you'll have a plugin or service, something like Pay with Zelle. Uh, the option to send the money between uh, your bank account to some other bank account. So all these options are very, very uh, useful. They're very convenient, but there is a danger. And so today I'm going to be talking about identity theft and what can you do to avoid that. So let's go ahead and start with the beginning and I'm going to be very quickly. Unfortunately, there are people and I call them wolf who uh, spy on us and they're using different methods, and I'm not an expert on that, but they're using different methods to get our information. And you guys probably know this. Uh, and they're getting our name, uh, date of birth, address, social security, and they can actually use their own phone number. And they're using this to apply for the credit. Whenever they go online, they can apply for the credit card, or they actually can make a fake driver license and go to the store, like Home Depot loves, and just apply for the credit and buy a whole bunch of power tools or appliances. So the, the question is, what can we do to protect us? Well, you guys know that it's really hard to hide our name. Uh, it's going to be very hard to hide date of birth, because if you go on the Facebook, most of the people put their uh, uh, birthday on the uh, Facebook profile because everybody want to hear, hey, happy birthday once a year, right? So it's kind of hard to hide that. And it's also hard to hide addresses because addresses, uh, it's uh, public information. Uh, anybody who has access to uh, public information can pull up a person's address. Uh, again, phone number, uh, not too hard to do it, but the people who steal identity, they can actually apply for credit using their own phone number. So phone number is not vital for them to apply for credit. And the most important thing that we have to protect is our social security number because when people apply for credit, whenever they go to Home Depot or Loves or any other creditor, uh, the creditor uses social security to see what is our FICO score, right? To pull up our credit report. So creditor, as you guys probably know, they ask for your credit and they pull your credit from Equifax, Experience and TransUnion. Those are the three agencies that have all our information, our late payments, uh, our bankruptcies and so on, so on. Now, if you have a lot of bankruptcies, if you have a lot of late payments, your FICO score is probably going to be around 500. If you have a good credit, your FICO score is going to be around 700. And if you have an excellent ideal credit score, your score can be anywhere 6, uh, 800 to 840. So once again, identity theft is the person who stole uh, your information and he goes to apply for the creditor creditor asks uh, for opinion for your FICO score through these agencies and once he receives it based upon this information and the amount of money you make uh, the creditor issues the credit to the person who inquired now technically it's supposed to be you but in our case it is a wolf who stole your identity so the question is what can you do to protect yourself well if you're just going to call Equifax Experian or TransUnion I'll be honest with you, uh, when I tried to help somebody and I called the 1-800 number, the first thing um, they tried to uh, sign me up for account which cost anywhere between um, $14 to $26. Uh, I seen companies online who sell uh, these services for uh, I believe $7, but most charge anywhere between $14 and $26 per month for the service. And what this service offers is several security features along with $1 million uh, insurance policy. Now, uh, against uh, financial uh, identity theft. Now, if, if the insurance is something uh, you need, uh, please go ahead and apply for it and you can definitely pay uh, 17 or 26 dollars a month however if you're looking for a way uh, for free 
to, to, to have the security, you can definitely do this. Companies that I called, I didn't offer free services right away. They, uh, they tried uh, for me to sign up under one of their paid services, but the free options are available. So I'm glad you're watching this video. So what can you do for free? Well, for free, you can open the ag account through these companies and you can freeze the account yourself manually simply by going uh, uh turning on freeze and you can freeze your account uh, i can call it freeze it or lock it so what does the freeze do so in case creditor ever uses your social to pull information the credit card the credit um, uh, bureaus i mean the credit history bureaus will deny information so that's how the freeze works uh, fraud alert. The fraud alert works a certain way. The fraud alert uh, feature is on, so as soon as the creditor sees that the fraud alert is on, it is the creditor responsibility to identify that it's really you. So they no longer supposed to send you a credit card over the mail and then pin number three days later or that sticker where you can just call 1-800 to activate, but they supposed to meet with you and physically look at your ID to make sure it's really you. That's how fraud alert uh, works. And at, at least that's how it's supposed to work. And you can definitely go on the YouTube or call 1-800 number to ask this representative more information on how fraud alert works. But when I called, that's what I have been explained. And number three, the third security feature is notification. So let's just say you're sitting home and watching TV and while you're watching TV, somebody goes, applies for your credit and shops around and you're gonna be sitting home without knowing anything. Now, if your notification is on, what's gonna happen is as soon as somebody will uh, use your social security to apply for the credit these three credit bureaus will send you a sms message with notification and it's it's going to say something like uh you know your name uh dear your name this and this uh home depot uh, or bank that represents home depot just applied uh to obtain a credit history from these bureaus and if you get that notification, you can call right away. Immediately, you can call back the creditor, 100 number for the creditor who applied for your credit, and you can immediately deny that. You can say, uh, I am not the one who is applying for credit. Please freeze my account within Home Depot immediately. And you can also call back all these three uh, credit bureaus, and you can freeze the account there as well. So that's how notification works. And I personally think... All of our accounts by the default should have notification on. And this is really gonna, I think, hit a big brick versus identity theft because it's kind of a silly how the person who steals this information can go to the creditor, gets the credit, shops around, and we are sitting home without knowing anything. So I think it's extremely important for anybody who listen to this information, take 15 minutes of your time, open the account through this, uh, creditors at least turn on notification or maybe you might even want to turn on fraud alert on uh, to make uh, much much harder for identity theft to happen to you all right guys so i hope this information is helpful if it's been helpful please put a like if you like this kind of content uh, please let me know uh, and my second video i actually want to talk about another um, electronic fund transfer uh, disclosure that we as the agent have to sign it because there has been unfortunately uh, cases where there are victims uh, people who are buying the homes they have been victim when they electronically send the money to their title companies and as an agent we actually are required to give all the buyers a disclosure that talks about this uh, via a fraud electronic alert to the buyers but next video i want to talk about it and i actually know some people who have been a victim of that as well so exactly in one week i'm going to upload the second video and uh, i hope you guys enjoy it so uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, like I said, please put a like. And if you are looking for somebody who can sell your home for a top dollar, please give me a phone call because I'm going to share with you five things that I do to make sure your home sells absolutely for the top dollar it can sell. Okay, thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.